Good morning, Richland High School. Thank you for viewing Ram TV. Today's hump day! Uh-oh! Guess what day it is! Guess what day it is! Huh? Anybody? Julie! Hey, guess what day it is! Oh, come on! I know you can hear me! Mike, 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 Mike! What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo-hoo! Ronnie, how happy are folks who save hundreds of dollars switching to Geico? I'd say happier than a camel on Wednesday. Hump day! Get happy. Yeah. Get Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. October 8th. Tomorrow's Purple Day. Here's what's happening at Richland High School. Wednesday, October 8th, E-Day and Blue Day. Golf Boys Varsity at, at D6 match, 4 o'clock p.m. Soccer Boys Junior High versus Cambria Heights at 4.30. Cross Country Varsity and Junior High at 4.30. Open Gym at 5.15. Soccer Girls Junior High versus Cambria Heights at 5.30. Canceled Soccer Girls Junior Varsity versus Greater Johnson at 6 o'clock. Football Boys 7th at Somerset at 6.45. Senior Night at 7 o'clock. Open Gym at 7 o'clock. Soccer Girls Varsity at versus Greater Johnstown at 7 o'clock. Student dismissal times are as follows. Tuesday, October 7th, send the tennis 2.30. Intramurals Today's 7th grade line soccer game will be between Team 3 and Team 4. Tomorrow's 8th grade line soccer game will be between Team 2 and Team 4. French club, there will be a, there will be a French club meeting on Thursday, October 9th. This, the meeting will begin at 7.05 a.m. in room C105. All members should attend this meeting. GSA meeting today after school until 4. Our, our pack attention, theater and music, Tech students, if you did not attend the theater certification last week, there will be another class offered Thursday, October 16th from 7 to 8 in the theater. Adjust your schedule now to be able to attend. It is mandatory that all students participating in theater activities be certified. Senior High Forensics Attention. All members of the Senior High Forensics team, practices will be held after school until in the library every Tuesday and Thursday until 4 o'clock p.m. Come when you can. RHS said, Create Real Impact Contest, RHS said, is promoting the Create Real Impact Contest, which is offered by Impact Teen Drivers Fund to promote our ongoing commitment to providing awareness and education regarding the dangers of distracted driving and poor decision making. The contest process runs until Friday, October 10th, so you will need to start now. Go to createrealimpact.com and submit your video, music, creative writing, or artwork. Then go to the RHS SAD Facebook and let us know of your entry. Key Club Student Appreciation. Starting this month, Key Club will be sponsoring giveaways to show our appreciation to the student body. This month's theme is spectacular, and one lucky winner from each lunch period will be picked. The first winners will be announced Friday, October 10th. Songwork Songwriting Contest. Julius Eckroth and Brianna Abley have been selected to compete in the Song Work Song Writing Contest this Thursday, October 9th at the Grand Hall at 6 p.m. The concert includes a meal for $12 or you can come watch the concert at 7 p.m. for $5. Come hear some great original music by your classmates. Boys Tennis. Anyone who's interested in joining Boys Tennis team this year should stop by Mr. Johnson's room B115 this week. This is necessary in order to get the names and information to make a winter schedule and allow players off season access to the North Pole Tennis Center. Hashtag winning. Sad meeting. There will be a sad meeting on Friday during homeroom in the cafeteria. Highland Community Library. Teen Reading Lounge Highland Community Library is offered, offering a free program called Teen Reading Lounge this fall. Participants will explore popular young adult books through discussions and activities. All participants will get free copies of the books discussed. A kickoff pizza party is scheduled for October 15th from 6 to 7.30 in the library. The first book will be The Walking Dead, book one, and the first session will, be, will feature zombie makeovers on October 29th from 5 to 8. Library Director Ashley Flynn will be here to answer qu your questions about the program in the library during lunch periods today. Stop the spread. 
you can play a part in this. Help your fellow students from getting sick this flu season. Just a few reminders. It's time to get your flu vaccine. Remind your parents to schedule this with your doctor. Wash your hands before eating and after coughing, sneezing, or blowing your nose. Keep your sneezes and coughs to yourself. Use a tissue or your elbow instead of your hand. Keep your hands out of your eyes, mouth, and nose. And now for the weather. Wind it up, poop. Wind it up, poop. Chubby little cubby all stuffed with fluff. He's wind it up. Good morning, Ram Nation. I'm Noah Glackey, Ram TV Chief Meteorologist. The high temperature for today is 60 degrees and the low is 40. It will rain later, but it should be clear up before 1 o'clock, which will be perfect weather for senior night of the girls' soccer game. Go Rams! Win it up, Pooh. Win it up, Pooh. Why is Winnie the Pooh's wife jealous? Pooh comes home with the new honey every day. But, um... We have some breaking news. There is now evidence that a Sasquatch is living in our courtyard. Now we have a very high in the scientific community, Russell White, here to talk about this Sasquatch. I saw it in that tree. Russell says he saw it in that tree. So we do have evidence now that a Bigfoot is living in our courtyard. This is a very exciting day for Richland. Have a great day. We'll have more information every day. Go Rams. We now believe that the courtyard Sasquatch was driving the car that ran over the courtyard groundhog and the courtyard bird. That is all. We will continue to investigate. Have a great day. Go Rams. Have a great day. Yeah.